We're here today in the newly renovated Smock Alley Theatre for a fresh production of Henrik Ibsen's classic play, A Dollhouse. The play, in the words of one critic, exploded into contemporary society like a bomb in the 19th century due to its treatment of social mores, the institution of marriage, and the banking class. Pan Pan Theatre, one of the most innovative groups in Irish theatre, has brought it into the 21st century. We're here to see how. Gavin Quinn of Pan Pan Theatre, we're here in the beautifully renovated Smock Alley Theatre with your new production of A Doll's House. Could you tell us a little bit about the plot and why you're attracted to this play as a director? It's a very strange uh, play in one sense. You could almost describe it as um, a liberal tragedy. There is comedy, melodrama, almost farce, and then there's this very dark, real, serious adult conversation as, to, as, a, as, a, as a woman leaves a man in a relationship and leaves the house altogether. So it's, um, there is, there is a real um, um, darkness uh, in the piece. The character is what really attracted me to it, and the fact that it's set at Christmas time, yeah. which I thought would be good to do in April. <laughs> <laughs> there's actually the, the one element there you touched on, this kind of dodgy bankers, this forge bonds, this borrowed monies. There's a lot of lies and deceit going on. Yeah. In the current climate, we attempted to put that at the heart of the play. Um, it's not particularly um, leaned on, if you like, in the production. Um, the production is more leaning on, I suppose, the, the idea of the self. Um, how our true selves sometimes break through and more, more about um, Nora's development as a human being rather than as particular, any particular sort of um, uh, feminist icon. And uh, so it's there in the story as, par as part of it all, how people um, have public and private lives and the general deceit and the little, mis little, little mishappenings and the little, um, little crimes people commit um, are all relative to their own um, situation. So, seemingly a sort of innocuous borrowing of money which seems okay is not okay if your husband happens to be a bank manager and if the person you're borrowing off happens to be someone that your husband the bank manager detests from from his childhood so it's sort of this little sort of um ibsen triangle between you know the the torvald helmer the husband nora helmer and then uh, niels krogstad who is a sort of a, a a lowly bank clerk you're just about to have a big salary and earn lots and lots of money. I don't get paid for three books. Do you not just borrow it till then? And this play, it's one of the most important and one of the most famous in European theatre. And it contains one of the most famous theatrical set pieces, if you like, the slamming of the door that you mentioned, which one critic said reverberated across the roof of the world when it was done first. Um, was this of key concern when you were looking at the play? You know, was it intimidating to go in and stage it with that particular scene in it? I suppose the the um, the worry, but not so much. Um, the, the, the slight worry is, is as whether whether that that sort of gesture has as much impact and meaning. Uh, I suppose in the 19th century, if you were going to leave your husband, you had to probably get um, you know a sleigh and a couple of reindeers and uh, book well in advance. Uh, you couldn't just sort of hop on a train or or, or a dart. Um, also, but there is still that stigma of um, of uh, women leaving their children. Uh, today and uh, you know there is also this it's almost linked to this new sort of well, well, quite not new but sort of quite popular uh, um, uh, uh, popular theory about the superwoman complex you know about a woman has to be everything in today's society as well as being a good mother or you know earning earning an income etc so so it, there is that so it still has an impact um, and the shock of somebody leaving to, uh, will always will always have will always have an impact but it's not that just that one gesture I suppose in, in our in our production we really uh, investigate uh, very deeply um, the character of Nora and, and showing all her complexity. You've taken on, you know, there's sort of two historical elements here. You've taken on the play itself. And then the second one is that you're the first performance in the newly renovated Smock Alley Theatre, which is one of the, the oldest theatre, I believe, in the country. Yeah, it's very, uh, it's very, very exciting. It's, yeah, it's, it's a 17th century theatre, which did, did have the first, um, the first production of Hamlet in Ireland. But it has a very warm, uh, interesting environment. It's not like a normal black box space. It's yeah. a, uh, you come in and it's quite, uh, quite heavily raked. It feels like a real arena, like a forum theatre almost. And uh, it's different. It's it's good. I think it really adds to the kind of um, to the to the landscape in Dublin. Um, there's a George Bernard Shaw quote that's referenced in the production notes. There comes a time when the parable of the doll's house is more to our purpose than the parable of the prodigal son. Do you think we're living in such a time? Is that what this production's all about? What's interesting about that is that the, it is very much the, um, 
the, the ear of the individual within the community and uh, I think that's all that, that that's what this play is, is really about. Um, Nora Helmer is in this small community of people and all the pressures that are on her um, uh, you know changes her nature or brings out her nature rather so it's kind of interesting um, the, 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 the reason why I suppose these plays do become classics why they are so successful is that there's definitely a deep-rooted story in there, and a deep-rooted um, uh, sort of psychological terror almost in the piece, and that really comes out in, in, the, in, this, in this play, and so that's one of the reasons um, I think that that, that quote is, is apt. But uh, part, part of and part, and part of the um, part of the play also can appear a little bit like a parable. You know, part of the play is almost um, Greek as well because uh, Ibsen based it on a, on a Greek play called Alcestis. Um, so there is there is a sort of a you know interwoven. Um, Classicism within the piece itself, but um, yeah, no, definitely it's um, it's it's uh, it's hard to say what, what the word relevant means, but it's definitely relevant. <laughs> Pan Pan Theatre's really ambitious and creative production avoids the obvious parallels of corrupt bankers and low-level corruption, and instead focuses on the human elements of Ibsen's play. As for that famous slam and door scene, you'll just have to go and see it for yourself.